Good morning, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share a crock pot recipe that you might have already had before. And uh, it's, kind, it's cooler here in Alabama now. It's still in the 80s, but it's not in the triple digit. And I just won't fall to come on, but you know what? We can eat soup year-round. It doesn't matter if it's hot outside because it's cool in our house. But today, I am going to show you how I do my taco soup. That recipe is in Volume 1. If you have Volume 1, it's on page 15. And all you really do is dump some cans. Let me tell you, you're going to start off with two cans of the petite diced tomatoes. You know, they look stewed because the juice is in there and everything. So, two cans of those. Then you're going to put one can of pinto beans. You just dump the whole can. You're not draining anything. One can of black beans. <clears throat> uh oh, I, I said pinto beans a while ago and those were kidney beans. Now the pinto beans. Those were all uh, one can of the black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans. Then you're going to put two cans of shoe peg corn. Sometimes it's hard for me to find shoe peg corn. Sometimes my grocery store has it, sometimes they don't. So when I've made this and they don't have it, I just put regular whole kernel corn. Then you're going to put a can, I've put in my recipe, Rotel. Y'all, that is the brand name. But see, this is not the brand name. This is um, Walmart's brand, and that's just... Um, diced tomatoes with green chilies and I get the mild. If you like it hotter, you don't have to get the mild. Then <clears throat> you're going to put two cups of water. And the recipe calls for a package of taco seasoning mix. <clears throat> Excuse me, what? I buy the big container of the taco seasoning, and on the back it'll tell you that a packet is a fourth of a cup. And the last ingredient is a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing mix. I buy this instead of the packet, and on the back it'll tell you to put one and a half tablespoons. So, that's what I'm going to do. There's one and a half. Now, I'm going to just stir this around. If you want to cook this on top of your stove, on the stove eye, the recipe says to just simmer it, you know, bring it to a... a good heat and simmer it for an hour. Well, I don't want to have to worry about that, so I'm going to um, put this on low because I have some errands to run. I have to have to go um, and I want to not have to worry about my food. So, I'm going to leave this and when I get back and we're ready to eat it, I'll show you. Okay, welcome back. This um, taco soup has cooked on low for uh, about four and a half hours, really. Like I said, you can cook it on your stove eye and just bring it to a boil and simmer it for about an hour. But my kitchen smells so good, and this is the taco soup. I've got it out of the crock pot, and what I'm going to do before 
when when we're gonna eat it, I'll put Harold will put some sour cream on his, and I will put some um, grated cheese, and I like some avocado on mine also. But this makes a lot of taco soup. So I'll tell you what we do. We'll eat it tonight and we'll have leftovers another day. But then I will freeze some, the rest. And we'll have this another time later on. So that's what's so good about soup. I plan to, um, now that the weather, it's, it's almost fall, and I plan to just share some soups periodically with you. So, you know, um, we all need new kinds of recipes that maybe we hadn't thought about in a while. So I'll be doing that too. Before I go, I want to thank y'all so much for your prayers for our daughter, Amy. You know, we were just elated when we got the message that the mass um, pathology report came back that it was benign. She will have to be checked every three months for a while, but I'm going to tell you, I had a piece about it. I knew Amy was going to be okay regardless whether or not the report was what we wanted because God's with her. God was with me when I walked through my cancer chemo treatments. But I'm so very thankful. I know that we felt your prayers and she was just, she said, Mama, I can't believe how many of your your friends, and y'all are my friends, are praying for her. And I just want to thank you so, so much. Baby Blake is doing great right now. He's having some GI issues. You know, he has a feeding tube and he still spits up a lot. But, considering what he's been through, we're just thanking the Lord because we can see him improving and he's growing and I know you want to know about him. But remember, this taco soup is in volume one. I checked with the ladies at the office and there's very few left, less than 50. There may not be 50, there may be less than 25 after today, but no, when you go to order, if it if there's still one, it will be up. If not, they'll be they'll say unavailable. But thank you so much. And uh, before I leave you today, I wrote this in my journal this morning, and uh, the very verse was so fitting. It's Psalms 37, verse seven. It says, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. And the next two words in there says, don't worry. It said, don't worry about evil people. But, don't worry about it. The Bible says, do not be anxious. You know, I have to talk to myself. I tell Harold a lot of times, I'm having to talk myself down. And that's what we have to do. If nothing else, just call on the name of Jesus. Just say, Jesus, Jesus, I trust you. But remember to be still and wait for him to act. And he will. Be salt and light. Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Let others see Jesus in you. Thank you so much for joining me. Go to YouTube. You can see it. You might can even see it better there than you can on Facebook, but I appreciate you liking it and sharing my page. I'll be back soon.